All right then, hey folks. Uh, it's a beautiful, sunny summer's day, so what better way to celebrate than staying inside and playing a zombie game. So today, it's Dead Rising uh, from 2006, Capcom, as you can see there, and uh, it takes place inside the Willamette Parkview Mall in Willamette, Colorado. Uh, so yeah, you know, been away for a while, time to come back, and so let's get the show on the road with part one of Dead Rising. So as you can see I've played this game a lot, uh, 10 million prestige points or something I think it's PP. Uh, and the last save is just because I don't use it online so yeah it wasn't 2005 obviously since how the game came out in 2006. So let's go straight in, new game mode, well new game, 72 hour mode and uh, I'll see if we do over time. I don't know yet. So yeah, so if this is your first time seeing anything about this game, then hopefully you enjoy it. I'll just let the cutscenes play out. Hey buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Yes, the game keeps the last like costume you wore from the last game, so that's pretty much why he's wearing a dress. Here she is. <laughs> has grey hair and two Let pairs of sunglasses. On. Population fifty three thousand five hundred ninety four. Distinguishing characteristics: jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. We'll be killing something at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they and got that all the might happen a lot by now. Because the controller pack is pretty crap. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. <clears throat> okay, so that's what it was meant to look like in his normal clothes. So yeah, so this opening bit, we just kind of take pictures of the town. It's kind of like when it's set the scene before you get in there. Uh, so here we have the helicopter, obviously we're in here, and that's like the horizon. So it's, it's the controls are kind of ropey. Um, so you can see there like, the windshield's literally just like a texture put over the front. And I'm gonna take photos of like a couple set pieces that we have. So here we have a guy with baseball bat and he's gonna wave for help. Before he gets dragged. Great timing there even though I was waiting for it. Biting him already. We prefer to drag him off and then eat him on the floor. And then there you go. Hey, check that out. Look at all those people. What the hell's happening here? Brutality. Sounds a bit blurry. Okay, we'll get the idea with that. Wait, we got we don't control the helicopter here. Whatever's going on. 
So you just kind of, it's like a, was it like a rail thing where it's like moving on your kind of Jack's Market, wholesale and retail. And that's just a load of zombies standing on a bus. And one on his knees. No, no, it's that before. And I don't know how that would have happened. But nevertheless. Gregory A. Garfield's Real Estate. Chilico's Chemist Pharmacy. Hickory's Construction Company. That guy had a cool beard. Oh, yeah, so boom! Holy shit! Did you see that? And then you get the cool bit afterwards of the yeah. zombies coming out of the smoke. Or fire. Come on, come on, come on. There's another battle for this with the, the chick on the warehouse with the gun. We'll get quicker when we get to the mall. Because you, because the good thing about this game is that you get to like dictate what you do basically. You got like a load of story missions if you want to do it. You want, you got a, uh, okay, I'm gonna set on like a strict time limit thing. It's like this starts at two o'clock, so you have to get there for two o'clock. So in the meantime, you can do like as many side missions as you want, or you can just hang around on the roof and stay safe for three days. But we're not going to do that, so. This bear used to love as a kid. Like, this bear's really cool. So yeah, as a kid, uh, probably first got this game. I'd have to check the uh, achievements. First got this game around 2006, 2007. Uh, and it, it, like, scared me. Even though it's pretty, like, tame, like, looking back, but... Like these bits, like look. Oh my god! Boom! So yeah, that's it for the. I want to see the center of town. Take me there. Camera section. So let's get into the next cutscene, then we can actually get going. Can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, man, you are nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. Oh my god, Sam helicopter out of nowhere. He's got a very moly back. And he's lost his case, oh my god. Whoa, three of them. Get us back down to that rooftop. I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. Butt chewing. We're going down. Here he comes, whoa, big superhero, jump, nice up skate shot as well, wow, very heroic. And of course the helicopters either did notice or don't care, so I don't know why they're chasing them down anyway. As they just forget about us immediately and leave. Hello there. Huh? And here's Corito with... You're the reporter, aren't the you? The most obvious yeah. line uh, in history you of games. Came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. Came alone. You know, go on the Happy battlefield alone. Came, I don't know. No crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? 
You came by helicopter, there you go, you came by helicopter, didn't you? He literally just saw us jump out of the helicopter, followed by three helicopters. Well, so yeah, I think that's a rhetorical question. If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out the moratorium. is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's uh, something else I can't put my finger on. And he's a vampire. It doesn't sound doesn't like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost. To be honest, he does look like he'd fit in, and like uh, from dust Everyone's all. already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Is hell. Okay, cool. So now we actually get to do stuff, I think. Want to get another loading screen? Yep, there you go. And here we are. So, yeah, you get the time and watch. Frank must be on the heliport at 12 pm on the 22nd, or he will be left behind in the mall. Pay careful attention to the time as you play. And yes, we press the left on D pad to check the watch. So, 12 o'clock on the 19th of September. So, let's we can talk to him, but he doesn't really. Anything. Oh yeah, and also the um, in-game uh, dialogue stuff is completely silent, so you can just imagine how great the voice is on your head. So yeah, here we go. This game kind of... Yeah, so we can save by having a Wii or lying down on some green stool things. Uh, so yeah, so basically just head on through. Yeah, so level 50, seems how I've put like 12 years worth of gameplay into this game uh, so basically the, the kind of overall thing is zombies in a mall but it's Japanese so it's kind of wacky and it's like very um, like it's not like serious although it does kind of have like a serious message thing so yeah uh, some people hate it some people like it I kind of have bits I hate about it I kind of but love it at the same time it's one of them weird kind of things and it's very nostalgic. Uh, yeah, so here we go. All the meeting the survivors. Hey, bring that over here. crazy dog woman doesn't remind me of anyone at all hey this is no time to ogle pretty you girls don't. son you looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies by zombies what did you just say zombies take a look out there this bit's funny. If this bit's funny. Zombies. What would you call? Like, like, like the pan across. Oh. Yeah. I didn't notice them before. I suck it. That's cool. There's been more and more of them since last My night. God. Now they're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe. Should here. be. All right. Yeah, I've got a good feeling. Feel like making yourself useful. Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. So we're gonna go and get some objects to put in the barricade. But before that, let's just have a look. So yeah, this is 
what we're going to be dealing with. That guy's never reanimated. He wouldn't make it on The Walking Dead. I look at them, three of them with the same animation at once, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go over here. You can, I think, yeah, you can stand by them and they make things. Words. You can take pictures of them because it counts for... Yep, so then you got Oh Kathy Kathy will be Every seeing a lot of shopping with you. Something happens to raise my blood. Nothing. What do you mean That's every time? Mark. You don't even come home most nights, let alone take me shopping. So? I work for a living. Work? <laughs> Is that what you call that hanky panky with that big titted secretary now? Oh, please. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Listen to me. Every time something Yes, yeah, so this is wrong, Kathy with the uh, like bandage eye patch. And so we'll go over here because we're going to collect some benches. But oh no, look at that! It's a it's a cutscene. I don't believe it. And then magical spawning um, old man in the background there. You stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the? Here you go, another loading screen for the the big Kahuna. The dog! Oh, how, how cute is that? Madonna. Madonna. My sweet little doggy! Um, idiot woman. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Blood spirit, there you go. <laughs> oh, we're in the armpit. Yep. Okay, another loading screen. We're not even going to get a play off this one either. What in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick! Move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! Quick! To the stairs! Move! <gasps> There's some stairs. Alright then, so you can't even save these people. Actually, I don't have anything in the inventory. Attack, and you can thingy things to attack. Uh, equipping and unequipping. Okay. And then basically you can't save anyone, so your best bet is just to do them all. I mean, you could start like killing them now. It's like the benches and stuff. Brian Reynolds. No relation to Bert. Look at that. Boom! Give this three. Boom! Oh, crap. Let's just throw it. Oh, come on. Come on. Boom! Whoa, look at that. Superman. And you only got these ones, because you got the other ones, and it plays a cutscene for the same stairs, so it doesn't make sense. So, for continuity reasons, we'll have to go up these stairs. <gasps> Empty more in the glasses, and more full of zombies. In real life. Another loading screen, then we're gonna get another cutscene. Huh? I'm not look impressed. Maybe it's the outfit. Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. Yeah. There's a woman getting eaten in half, I'm sure she got away. As long as those things are in the mall, we'd better not use this door. 
Uh, what are you doing? Um, listening to the vent. The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall, and apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. <laughs> Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey, hey. <sighs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. How could you guess? Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some Look pictures, up. Frank? Beanie forearm. You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. The necklace actually moves. Uh, the hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. And the black guy welding door shuts. Otis. Boom. Yeah, so because we've played it before, I think you have to defeat how many zombies to get the Mega Buster, which is actually like really good. And then here you can just go around and pick your outfit. Oh, well that was good. So you can have the whole Mega Man, shebang. Give a hat. What are these ones? Boom! Yeah. And I'm back to the other hat. So yeah, so that's the thing. Look at that run as well. Just be grateful that this is the one you're looking at because the original one you start off with is about a million times so. Never mind, let's not do voices, shall we? <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, it's transceiver, get the more map. Because Otis will be calling us a lot. Not all the stock sound effect. I haven't heard that one before. Officer West is here to save the day. So let's go, hey, and we meet our around? first two survivors. Get them frozen vegetables. It's I Jeff. Come on, Jeff, notice me. There you go. Have you seen my wife, Natalie? She should be still around here. Looking for someone? I'll lend a hand. That'd be great, fella. My name's Jeff Meyer, by the way. I'm Frank. I'm a photojournalist. Jeff Meyer joined. Now, if only we could find his wife. So yeah, you call them and you can set marks them. So you go like, "Hey, hey, come, come on, on, come over here." Come on, follow me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick up the baseball bat. There you go. Follow me. Come on, Mister. Mister. It's Natalie. It's too dangerous here. Follow me. Follow me. And then here you go. You can. Ah. Oh. Boom. Fantastic. Nine grand right there. 
Okay, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Come we'll pick on. up a ball of clay because they're kind of fun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Are they moving? Oh crap! I should have talked to them. Oh god! All right. So he does that roll if you like flick the uh, the, the the left thumbstick a certain way, but I don't know if it's actually any quicker considering how serious he get up. <sighs> no, it's probably just quicker. All right, come on, here they come. Come on. Follow me! And then that's see if they can make it up this ridge. No, they just stop for no reason. Come on, Jeff. Here he goes. Yeah. And Natalie, the old woman. Follow me! They make, made it up too. I never have to have like, both of them next to the, uh, the vent thing. But to work, so that should work. And then only one of them even bothers talking to you, so. I'm never going to mourn again as long as I live. I've had about enough of this. Boom. 20,000 PP. PP. Alright then. Let's take the lift. So yeah, the lift leads to... Wow, that was really quick. Uh, it leads to this like little warehouse thing. Uh, and I can just listen to him, otherwise he goes, that was rude. So Paradise Plaza. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, I was gonna. Ah, oh, no mind. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Someone's following him. Who could it be? <laughs> oh God, it's you. Look, don't sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh! It's probably just oh, a sprain. Oh, my leg. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. Damn, got some sass. You know how to use this? Kinda. Pull the trigger. I've covered wars, you know. Covered wars, you know. And them glasses have no glass in them. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Nice little chat. Okay, so you get the case thing. So this is basically the main story. And yeah, you have to follow it along. And you have certain times when stuff starts that you have to be there by. And yeah, this one's through till the last day. Okay. Now, see, told you. Ah, okay, I'll just let this one through. So anyway, while he's talking, uh, I feel like that's like half an hour. That should be long enough for a first episode. Us entering the, uh, the, the mall. So I'll see you back here next time for part two, where we'll be going to help Brad and starting off our mission to discover the truth. Because the truth is out there. I'll see you guys next time, part two. Hmm.